Hi guys, this is a video on web desktops. Now this can also be known as web operating systems because they look a lot like things like Windows and Linux but obviously they're not operating systems. They are just applications on a web page. So I'm going to consider these to be web desktops. I have seven here which I'm going to go through just show you what the default page is when you go to log on to each of these as I've registered for them. So we'll start with UOS. This is what UOS looks like when you first register for it. So you can see we've got stickies, we've got command prompt, uh, a notepad editor, so all of the things that you edit um, or make, if you make text files on this UOS, it will be stored for when you next log in. So it's ideal for if you don't want to transport files from work to home or things like that. So you've got feeds, of chat client files, so it's a U panel, admin of applications, feedback, apps, office, social, uh, system, and web. Now, there's a U browser here, and I can't understand why you'd want to browse a website within a web browser. So it's a browser within a browser, so I know it's the point of that, but either way, this is UOS. Next one is GUI. This looks a lot like Linux kind of style, there's no clock or anything in the corner. So you just click desktop and you'll notice that it's quite nice really, you can drag it about. It's got transparency. Um, check emails, view calendars, contacts, file storage. You have to register with box.net I think for this one to get it to work. And it's got an in instant messenger, I think it might work with MSN. So things like that might work. And you've got little minis, things like that, playing games desktop notifications stuff like that so this is GUI uh, which top sort of works like Yahoo widgets or the little widgets you get on your Apple Mac um, basically you can play music notice that it's actually playing music on my computer so these little just gadgets and widgets that you can put on your computer uh, on your just in your web browser and run them from there so I suppose this can save memory running them actually on your desktop so this is widget top I suppose there's loads to add yeah my favorite stuff like that uh, blogs and forums there's loads here so uh, glide is it started as showing you a web page for web storage but then it's got an interesting way of showing you how to store things so you got write something new here I suppose oh, it opens in a pop-up I won't bother showing uh, photos music videos docs so you can just you can sync things by the looks of it, download Glide Sync, Glide Mobile, so it looks quite an interesting way to store things on the internet. So I wonder what the settings show up. <laughs> Fortunately we have loading screens on web pages as well, so change passwords, send us feedback. So loads of different things here. Uh, widgetplus.com, I've called it Widget Plus, there's just loads of different things you can do here. iText looks a bit like Apple but with another start menu here so we've got calculator, notes, chess, a couple of things that you can go, uh, latest entry was Boy Duncan, okay fine and uh, that looks that's flickering for some random reason that's just saying my ping to the actual OS so here's iOS this looks a bit like Linux, we've got a home thing here yeah very much like Linux it's got a taskbar down here, clock down here don't know what that button does, I'm not going to click it. Office, network, accessories, game, system, places. So they all look really pretty, but a lot of them, what we need for is just, well, we can do all the little stuff on our own computer anyway, so these are just to show you that there are things out there. And there's a beta version of desktop2.com, which is, again, there's lots of icons here, things you can use in MP3 player. So. Uh, scan your hard drive, so I suppose this can actually play things off my hard drive, which is pointless. Just use Winamp or Windows Media Player or stuff like that. RSS readers. So this is pretty much it, really. Not much else to talk about. These are the th different websites you can visit to find out about internet operating systems and the various ones that you can use that contain things, might interesting things you might want to not bother using. Oh, here we go, this is widgets on GUI. Um, you can just add things on your own little space on the internet and then it will save it for when you come back. So thanks for watching my video. If I missed any out, let me know. Please rate and comment.